First tonight at 530, following a month long investigation, consumers are receiving thousands of dollars in refunds for speculative Hamilton tickets that were sold illegally. That's according to Rhode Island Attorney General Peter Nerona. Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Campbell joins us now from Providence with your call 12 for action. The Attorney General says consumers spent $114,000 on speculative tickets to see Hamilton here at the Providence Performing Arts Center. Now they're getting refunds. Long before tickets to see Hamilton were available through PPAC, there were thousands of tickets for sale online. At least that's what theater goers thought. Customers are deceived into purchasing tickets uh, that they think actually exist um, and what they are, are speculative tickets. The person selling the tickets or the entity selling the tickets hopes to have them, uh, may try to purchase them later, but the truth is the person who's selling you that ticket, who takes your money right then and there through your credit card, uh, doesn't have that ticket. How many illegal Hamilton tickets did you find? Well, there were 4,000 for sale. Um, a lot of those were not sold. Uh, many hundreds were. Attorney General Peter Nerona says people were paying an average of $479 for the speculative tickets to Hamilton. The average actual cost through PPAC, about $150. And they don't know it many times that they've been ripped off. Now three of the companies selling those tickets have agreed to stop. Venue Kings Ticket Brokers, Front Row Tickets, and National Ticks reach settlements with the AG's office, which prohibit the sale of undisclosed speculative tickets in Rhode Island. The companies did not immediately respond to our requests for comment. Are there more enforcement yeah, actions coming? There are, yes. Yeah, so the investigation is over. Nerona said Ticketmaster and StubHub assisted in the investigation and offered full refunds to Rhode Island consumers who purchased inadequately disclosed speculative tickets. According to the settlements, the ticket sellers can face civil penalties of up to $5,000 per violation if they're caught selling speculative tickets that aren't properly advertised. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 to 1. Our hotline is 228-1850.